FBI foils plan to murder George W. Bush. The FBI foiled a conspiracy to assassinate former U.S. President George W. Bush by an Islamic State sympathizer, officials in the United States have disclosed. He reportedly tried to have Iraqi agents smuggled into the U.S. from Mexico via the suspect, an Ohio native. On Tuesday, he appeared in federal court in Ohio, where he is still being held. The FBI was able to thwart his scheme with the use of informants and electronic monitoring. An Iraqi native who has lived in the United States since 2020 has been named as Shahab Ahmed Shahab, 52, in court filings. When asked about his affiliation with a group known as Al Rad, Mr. Shahab allegedly informed the FBI's secret source that he belonged to an organization located in Qatar called Al Rad. Mr. Shahab told the FBI source that he wanted to assassinate President Bush since he had killed many Iraqis and shattered the country. It was his ambition to be directly engaged in the operation, and it didn't matter if he perished since, he would have been happy to be participating, as he said. He said, according to reports, Mr. Shahab was looking for bogus police identification cards and was wondering if militants might be transported into and out of Mexico to carry out the operation. Former Iraqi intelligence personnel with assassination expertise were among the individuals he intended to transport into the United States. According to a second FBI source, Mr. Shahab was also in contact with someone who purported to be a customer of the suspected smuggler. Both informants documented conversations they had with him while they were undercover. He reportedly informed the sources that he wanted to utilize the people smuggling business to bring in members of the Islamic State, even though he is not suspected of being part of the terrorist organization. The George W. Bush Institute and Mr. Bush's mansion were filmed by Mr. Shahab and an informant during a trip to Dallas, Texas. When it comes to looking at firearms and phony police enforcement outfits in March of 2022, it's been said that this man did so in an Ohio hotel room. With the possibility of doing 10 years in jail for his role in an illegal immigration scheme, as well as an additional 20 years for his role in the attempted assassination of a former US official, he has now been dealt two blows. A Bush spokeswoman said the former president has complete faith in the Secret Service, law enforcement and intelligence.